you were successful, somebody along the line gave you some help. There was a great teacher somewhere in your life. Somebody helped to create this unbelievable American system that we have that allowed you to thrive. That, that allowed a bum Somebody like you to become president. And bridges. If you got a business, that you didn't build that. No. Somebody else made that mm -hmm. happen. The government cheese did it. You didn't build your business. Somebody built the business for you. Now let me tell you something. I'm 70 years old. I've been working since I'm five years old. Nobody built my life for me. I built my life. Now, so you see the opposite is true. Unfortunately, you, of course, had a silver spoon handed to you. Your hardworking mother, uh, grandmother, excuse me, a grandfather, did everything for you. So far as we know, you never bag groceries, did you? Did Obama ever bag groceries in Honolulu? Did he bag uh, uh, anything in, in Indonesia when he was a boy? Did he bag any uh, halal food? Did they put him in a halal grocery there as a child? See, I went to work at five, Mr. Obama. And I didn't get any government cheese, and no one gave me a job. I'm wondering, though, did he ever have a job? Did Obama ever shovel a driveway for a quarter? Did Obama ever deliver a newspaper? Did Obama ever work as a busboy in the Catskill Mountains? Did Obama ever work? Did he ever do anything? So naturally, he thinks that everything is done by somebody else, because for him, it's true. Everything was done by some, somebody else. That's how he became president. So when he says that you didn't do it on your own... He's reflecting his own view of the world because he didn't do it on his own. This is a, a, the rhetoric of, of an America hater. This is what dumb Mick, Mitt Romney should be talking about. This is what the dummy should be talking about. Well, he's really a nice man. And I, I think that nice man really ought to stop uh, some of his staffers from saying those mean things about me and Ann. Uh -huh, uh -huh. That's the end of the road here. I mean, either we get someone with, with guts running against them or we're, we're crushed, we're finished, it's over. It's time for someone to take Romney and stand them up and say, hey, dummy, you're the only chance we have. We put you in here in order to, over, to, to overturn this, this dictatorship. You know, get your act together. But no, he's still calling this communist, this America hater, this guy surrounded by a thousand criminals. He's still calling him a nice man.